Shall you begin, Mrs. Miller? Watts. It's Mrs. Watts. So, Mrs. Miller isn't I Watts. I have her testimony. You work at the Glass House Laundry in Bethnal Green, too? I was born there. Then I should like to hear your testimony. I don't know what to say. Your mother worked at the laundry? From when she was 14. She'd strap me on her back or under the copper back if I'd sleep. All the women did it who had babies then. Your employer allowed that? He'd have you back as soon as you could. He? Mr. Taylor. And uh, does your mother still work at the laundry? She died when I was four. I see. Backed it, scolded her. What of your father? Don't know him. And you worked for Mr. Taylor? Part-time from when I was seven, full-time from when I was 12. Don't need much schooling to launder shirts. I was good at collars, steaming the fine lacing. Got the hands for it. I was made head washer at 17, full woman at 20, 24 now, so. You're young for such a position. Laundry works a short life if you're a woman. And why is that? You get your aches and your chest cough, crushed fingers, leg ulcers, burns, headaches from the gas. We had one girl last year poisoned, got work again, ruined her lungs. And your pay? We get 13 shillings a week, sir. For a man, it's 19. And we work a third more the hours. They're outside most days on delivery, so at least they're in the fresh air. What would the vote mean to you, Mrs. Watts? I never thought we'd get the vote, so I've never thought about what it would mean. <laughs> so why are you here? We might, that this life, that there's another way of living this life. Sorry, my words. No, no. The finest eloquence is that which gets things done. Thank you, Mrs. Watts. I believe we have all that down. We shall have a response for you very soon. An amendment to the bill might just force the change towards the vote. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Can we please have Sheffield Weavers, you? 